Post keep watching. Love it when they do it to the boy need options. Whole team mobbing, whole team mobbing. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing. Yo, what is going on guys, it's your man Twisted Drifter, welcome back to the channel, today we are back here on R Factor 2. Now, the other day I was, I found what I think is the best spotter pack plugin that I have ever seen for a racing game. Now, this plugin works for Acero Courses, R Factor 2, R Factor 1, a bunch of other sims. Today, we're going to show that off and show you guys how to go and get that working. So without further ado guys, we are going to start up a quick 5 lap race at Indianapolis to give you all a taste of what this pack does. Alright guys, here we are at the track. Now, time to go and show off the spotter. Now, let's go and get into this. Here we are guys, at Indianapolis. As you can see, he will tell you your position and the track, the temps and everything as well. You can also voice command with this guy, so for example, where's Kellegrew? Free wide, you're in the middle. Didn't understand that. Where is Kellegrew? You had a bit of bodywork damage there. Hold your line. I didn't catch that. Clear left. Alright, so sometimes it will have issues, guys. But voice command is very helpful, though, because, for example, how's my tires? They will reply with like, how, your tire wear is fine mate, or you need to go and pit. You can also say, where is my fuel? Or how's my fuel? Let's try the command again. Where is Kellegrew? That's 17th. Zero. Behind. Well done, Rob. Good start. So see guys, it will also tell you where someone is, so that is another nice thing. Now this doesn't just work with the NASCAR, this will also work with other games as well. Uh, uh, other race modes as well, like GT3 and stuff like that, so it is pretty cool. B12. Got a little loose there coming into the corner. Trying to keep out of these guys' way. Pretty much you might need to fix that one. Now, the reason why I started looking for this guy was the fact that I had some issues in the other in the race the other night. And this, I've I've been having some amazing uh, luck with this here now, so. Oh shite, keep it, keep it out of the wall. Now guys, I do want to show you what it'll do if you fuck up, so I am going to intentionally spin, Next spin out here in a minute. Alright, let's Quick example of what will happen if you crash, guys. Not sure why they're pitting so early. That was insane. But it will go and tell you all that. And when you do that, you can do like... How's my body wear? Okay, sometimes it'll work with body wear. Sometimes it won't, guys. But you, it will tell you how your tires are, how your fuel is, and all that other good stuff. So without further ado... Now I've shown that off to you guys, we are going to hop into the tutorial. So, let's back out of the game, I'll see you guys in the tutorial. Here we go. Alright guys, here we are on the Studio 397 forums. Now, once you're here guys, this is where you need to go to get the stuff for this uh, plugin. What you'll first need to do is click here. And once you're here guys, you will scroll down here and download this MSI. And once it's downloaded... You will go up here and click that. It'll go and bring up the thing to say, are you sure we want to install it and everything. You'll hit next. And of course, with this, you will want to do just a rate. This is just it because I've already installed. You'll come up as a normal install. And then you'll go and just install it normally, guys. Once that's installed, you'll go and come back to this and... First of all, drag the shared memory plugin into your R Factor 2 plugins folder. That is crucial, guys. Make sure that is plugged in to your plugins folder. Now, next thing you need to do, guys, is once that is in there, you'll want to come down here as you're seeing in the screenshot 
and I'd go to your Artifactor 2 shared memory p map plugin and turn that on, okay? And make sure if you got any other spotter plugins, you turn those off. Otherwise, just make sure that your spotter uh, audio, your spotter detail is set to off in the game, guys. Now, once you once that is done, you exit Artifactor 2. Okay, guys, you can, after that, you can exit Artifactor 2. And come down here to where you want to open that. So, come over here, guys, to Crew Chief. And it'll open up. Now, I've got it set automatically to where it opens up R Factor 2 as well, which you can do the to, for the moment it opens the thing up. So, once it opens, it's being stupid at the moment. There we go. It'll say radio check once you get everything set up originally. Go and uh, close that out because I don't want the game open right now. But once it's there, you will have the th these three buttons here, guys. What you'll need to do is click all three of these. To update those and get those ready. Those are key to getting that to work. Another thing you will need to do guys. Is once you're in. You will need. Uh, if you want it to go and read your name personally. Like it, like as you heard it said. Okay Rob. Let's go and do this or whatever. You'll want to get the voice recognition stuff set, downloaded. So if you're on a 64 bit operating system. Which I am. You'll want to go with the 64 bit installer. And get that installed. Once that's installed, guys, you will be able to get the game to read to you and actually be more able to talk to you personally and actually direct you by your name. So once those are installed, you'll install them normally as well. And then you can map that to a button on your wheel. See, as you see down here, guys, it says talk to... Where's my mouse? There it is. It says talk to crew chief assigned... See, I assigned that to a button on my wheel, so you double-click that, and you can, and then, so you'll want to go and, eh, dang it. Alright, so once you're here, you would want to hit that, right-click, alright, it's not wanting to let me modify for some reason. Oh, stop, there we go. So once you're there, guys, what you'd want to do is you'd want to, right, hit that, hit this, and then assign a control, also hold a button down. Up here is where you can change your name to wherever you want. As well as over here, you can clear the console, change your volume of the mic for the guy, as well as your background volume. Over here are the list of games it's compatible with. As you can see, it's compatible with quite a few di different sims there. And the main thing that you do want to do with the NASCARs, is scroll down here through these settings here. There's a bunch of them. And main things you want to look for are the three-way, the cautions, and a couple other things which are all down to personal preference. And just look through here. You will see which options you want to enable. Enable them at will. And you can also change the frequency of how often you want them to announce it. And then you can save and install, or uh, save and restart. That'll save your settings and get them all configured into the game it's plugin. Now, I haven't tested this online yet, so it may, I'm not sure if it'll cause a CPU lag on your end or not. I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. But pretty much, guys, that is how you get this to cooperate. Hopefully, that goes and helps you guys figure that out. If not, contact me in the comments. As well as if you're on the uh, Stock Car Sim Racing forums, let me know there as well. And I will help you out as much as I can if this did not make enough sense to you. But definitely, guys, make sure that all these three here are updated. If those are not up to date, it will not work. And just make sure that it's do that's done, guys. Make sure you've got the spotter plugin done. For R Factor 2, make sure that's installed into the game's plugins. And as I said, make sure spotter detail is off. If that is not off, you will not hear anything but the in game spotter. Also, make sure that that plugin is enabled. Shared memory map plugin 64.dll, that has to be on in order for it to cooperate. So, hopefully, that, hopefully that helped you out, guys. If it did, let me know in the comments. Leave a like if it helped you. And if you're new to the channel and you found this helpful, please be sure to subscribe, guys. Always remember that mental health does matter. If you have issues, do not be afraid to go and seek help as well. 
Always remember that it is just a label. Do not let that label define you guys. Until next time, it is your man Twisted Drifter. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out.